the Wilman Bilia Trail. Two hours south of Perth and a few clicks from Collie. I had a few mates with me this time. Hado, Madge and Shorty. We'd got there at sunrise and we were in for a decent one. It was 17 kilometres to where we would camp the night and the weather forecast had us copping a dredging. 10 to 25 mils was the prediction and I reckon it wasn't far off. Spirits were high, despite yeah. the gloomy clouds yeah. rising in the distance. <laughs> I think it folds up into the pocket. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, no, it was um, like one of the funniest moments. So. <laughs> A tawny frog mouth, found all over Australia, but I hadn't seen one in years. We could have stood there for ages, admiring its beauty, but we had to press on. If there's one thing you should know about Shorty, it's that he has a tendency to lay a cable at the most inconvenient times. We pulled up stumps for five minutes and had a feed, while nature played its course in the bush. How much jerky have you got? Fucking Laura packing it out. Most of the weight is actually in food, eh? I'm not sure what type it is. It's either chilli or it's garlic. Yeah, it's the jerky coaster. He was banished to the back of the group momentarily to think about his actions. <laughs> it was at this point we still had about six or seven k's to go and the rain was slowly getting heavier. Sure enough, not long after crossing this bridge, the heavens opened and it absolutely bucketed down. After what felt like an eternity, we arrived into camp. Soaked head to toe, we couldn't wait to throw on a fresh set of clothes and chow down on some hot food. First up on the menu was some spicy noodles. With darkness approaching in the next hour or so, it was time to set up camp. The guys chose to crash on the benches provided, but I'd bought some new gear and was keen to test it out. Hindsight's a funny thing though, as midway through setting up, my water bladder decided to have a blowout. Oh no. no. It wasn't all bad though. Hado was kind enough to lend me his towel to mop the mess up and the weather had cleared long enough for me to get a few drone shots in.
dinner was served shortly after. On the menu tonight, some delicious Deb and not so tasty beef and pasta hot pot. But hey, lesson learned there. Dawn. The night had been a wet one and the morning was proving to be no different. Priority number one was to cook up some hot brekkie before packing up and making a long walk back to the car. The night didn't come without casualties though. Shorty had had a rough one as he woke up crook. There was only one thing to do, leave him behind. And that was the Wilman Billia Trail near Collie in Western Australia. Officially, it's about 20 kilometers long. We decided to park up at the sort of chaos kind of area at uh, Wellington Dam and hike from there to Ninyan campsite, which was about 17 kilometers. I probably butchered that pronunciation, but uh, we'll roll with that for the meantime. It took us roughly 15 and a quarter hours uh, to hike there, and then in the morning it took us three hours, 10 or 11 minutes, I think it was, to hike back. So a bit of a difference there, but yeah, we were super keen to get in our own beds and get some warmth into us. Shorty was actually the only one that officially completed the trail. He did pull up Crook in the morning, so he just did the three kilometers from the campsite to Coalfields Highway. And then myself, Hayden and Madge did a short detour where we picked him up on the side of the road. I actually found this trail through the Real Trail Talk podcast. Uh, Mark and Donovan, the guys behind the podcast, do an absolutely awesome job. And their content, which they've been posting for years now, is absolutely uh, fabulous so yeah if you're interested in checking out their stuff I'll link it all in the description below overall I reckon this hike is a great beginners hike if you're just getting into hiking and you're looking at doing an overnight hike um, this is something I would really recommend having a look at the trail is relatively easy going for the most part there is a few steep hills in there that will get your heart pumping but other than that it's pretty flat and um, yeah really relatively easy going. I think in a couple years time or a few years time, um, it has a huge potential to be even better. Um, I actually believe it's meant to be a three or four day multi hike. It's meant to go all the way around Wellington Dam if I'm not mistaken. So if, yeah, if they can knock that off, I think it would be absolutely awesome. And another great attraction um, in Western Australia that people can get outdoors and go and see some of the natural beauty that we have, even though it's technically a dam. I do have a Instagram if you're interested in checking out some behind the scenes. Um, it's a relatively new page that I've uh, got up. I deleted my old page and I've started fresh. So if you're interested in checking that out, um, yeah, feel free to follow my handle. Um, updates wise, I do have a really exciting hike planned in about a month's time. It does involve flying and hiring a four wheel drive. Um, but I don't want to disclose too much information at this stage because, um, yeah, the ducks and stars really need to align. Um, before I can uh, yeah, tick that one off, but I'm really, really excited to do that one. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Hey, you got apricots. Yeah, hang on. These make me fart real bad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I think I shat myself last night. Pants are a bit wet. <laughs> there was a few farts last night. Yeah. I was having a 
Enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone seemed to be going off, so I'm like, all right, I'll join. <laughs>